In this video with the Anking, I'm going to introduce you to Anki Droid. Now, the first question is why should you use Anki Droid? What makes it any different than all the other flashcard apps out there like Quizlet and the others? And the question here, I'm going to answer by explaining to you a couple different study methods. Now, this is the traditional study method that I used all throughout high school and college. So we've got a timeline here with your four exams and then a final at the end. Now, normally you'd study at the very beginning. You're going to study a lot. But if you wait a couple weeks, then you might remember like 70% of the material. So you're going to study a lot again right before the test so that you can maybe break an 85, 90, depending on how much you want to do. Now, if you wait even longer after that, you're going to have a decreased time or decreased amount of, of information that you're retaining and you wait even longer you're going to retain even less so of course before that final you're going to review quite a bit so that you can bring yourself back up now that's what you're going to do every single test basically right you're just repeating this process over and over again and then you're going to cram everything in right before the final now there's nothing wrong with this, this is what i did it's what most people are doing but when I happened on Anki, I learned about spaced repetition. This is way more effective and you'll get better grades. I'm going to show you why this happens. So here's the same timeline here. You're going to initially do the same amount of studying, but then you're going to study it the next day and then like three days after that and seven days after that. So when you study the next day, that's going to make it so that you're remembering most of that material because you're reviewing it right away. And then again, you're going to space it out a little bit, three days and seven days. And when you review it again, you're going to have about the same level of retention because you're reviewing it theoretically right before you would forget it. And then again, space it out even more, same amount. You're going to remember 90%. Space it out even more. So right when you get to that final, you're remembering about 90% of this material at any point. And you're going to do the same thing for the next test, and you'll start small and then space it out. Same thing here, start small, space it out. And when you get to your final, you're not going to cram at all. That's the cool thing about spaced repetition. Now I've taken all those blocks and put them together here so that you can see them side by side. Now notice that the traditional studying, you're going to do more studying. And like I was explaining to you, you're not going to do it, it's not as effective. So you might get a B while you're doing the traditional studying, whereas you'll do less studying with spaced repetition and get an A or an A+. That's how cool spaced repetition is. That's why AnkiDroid is so useful. So how do we get started with this app? The first thing I want to explain to you is that there's actually a computer version called Anki that's on the desktop, and then there's Anki Droid on the phone. Both of these are free, they're open source, which is really, really cool. And the two of them talk to each other. They can sync back and forth so that you can use your flashcards on one and then sync to the other. Now the desktop version also has these things called add-ons. It's kind of like an extension you'd put on your browser. It adds additional features. Those aren't available on Anki Droid, but you can use them on the desktop. And then, like I said, sync with the with your Android and use it on your phone. So. If you're getting confused at this point or if there's more you want to learn, I have an entire YouTube channel here. We've got tons of playlists, over 100 videos that teach you how to use Anki. So here's the link for that if you want to go and learn more. I also have this uh, mastery course. It's an online course that will essentially take you through everything you need to know about Anki. And I'm going to talk about that at the end of this video so I don't, uh, so I can get right into everything right now. But just so that you know, there is a special discount just for Anki Droid users. Go to this link here, ankipalace.com slash ankidroid. And also a portion of all of these sales actually go towards the development of Anki Droid, which is really cool. All right, so moving on here, I'm going to explain to you a couple different card types that you can use in Anki Droid. This is different types of flashcards to help you study. The first type is a basic flashcard. It's just like a front and a back, just like if you were using an actual note card in front of you. Then there's the close card type. This one's my favorite. It's a fill in the blank essentially, and you can actually add little hints in that blank if you want to. And then lastly, this is actually an add-on, like I was explaining, is the image occlusion card type. You can do these uh, pictures and then hide little pieces of it, and it's really useful for anatomy or diagrams. Okay, so installing Anki Droid and getting started with all the settings, I'm going to walk you through adding a card, adding a deck, all of that right now. All right, on to the fun stuff here. I'm going to actually show you how to do this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create a deck and add a card to it. That's the very, very basics. So I'm going to click the plus button down here, and we're going to create a deck. And I'm just going to title this deck Anki Droid and hit OK. And now you see there's a deck already up there. These are cards I've already added in there. Now I'm going to add a card to that deck. So we'll hit the plus button again, and I'm going to add this time. Now remember, I was talking about the different type of note types here. There's a bunch here, and I'm just going to choose a basic note type, and we're going to put the deck. We're going to do Anki Droid. 
So I'm going to type what is the largest country? And the answer to that on the back side would be Russia. And then I'm actually going to, one thing that can be very helpful is to add images to your pic, uh, to your flashcards. So I've already opened one up here. I'm going to switch over to the browser. I've opened up a picture of Russia, and I'm just going to copy that image. We'll go back to Anki Droid. And I'm going to paste that image in here. And it just adds, uh, this is called HTML. It just adds that in. I'm going to hit the check mark up here, and it'll add the note. And then we'll get out of it. And now you can see it adds a little card up there. So the blue numbers there are the new cards. If we go into that, now you can see I've got the flashcard here. What is the largest country? And if I show the answer, it's going to pop up Russia with my image there that I've put. And so you can do that with any flashcard. That's the very basics of adding it. Now the next thing that's going to happen here is you've got four buttons down here. Again, hard, good, and easy. And notice they have different times on them and different days. That's because it's actually like you're going to rate these cards on how difficult it is, whether you remember it or not, so that it can schedule them out for you in that spaced repetition manner. So the again button is like, I forgot. This is wrong. The hard button is I remembered it, but it was, it was difficult. I didn't remember it very well. I'd like to see it sooner. The good button is I got it right. We're good to go. Just keep sending it into that schedule. And the easy button is this is way too easy for me. I want you know just send it out a little bit further so that it has a, a expanded spaced repetition cycle. So I'm just gonna hit good on that, and, and that's essentially what you would do with your flashcards every day. And every day you're gonna want to go through and get these numbers down to zero. It doesn't not necessarily the new numbers, but all of these review cards. You're gonna want to do them every day, and it's just gonna automatically tell you which ones you need to study what day that's the really nice thing about Anki now I'm going to hit the plus button here again and I'm show you how to get a shared deck so we'll click shared decks here it's going to bring you to the Anki website and I'm just going to search for Braille just because I found a cool deck here's a, a, a deck that somebody made it's got 26 flashcards with the English alphabet essentially in Braille so I'm going to click on that and scroll down a bit and we'll download that deck and hit download like, hit download there. I'm going to hit download again. Just so it says I've got it here. I'm going to click on that. There we go. Now it's going to import into my deck. We'll hit add. And you'll see it's going to import all those cards. It says, hey, we imported 26 cards. If you have a deck that has thousands of flashcards, it's going to take longer than that. And notice now that we have a flashcard deck in here. So I can click on that. It's going to take me to my flashcards. And I can show answer. And you can do whatever. You know. So I didn't get this right. I'll hit again. You know, I got this one right. I'll hit good. Etc. Etc. Et That's essentially what you do. And the next cool thing I want to show you is how you sync. So this button up here, uh, well, the first time you sync, it's actually going to ask you to ha put in your login information. I've already done that, so I'm just going to hit sync, and it's going to sync everything there for me. And that basically is sending it to the uh, to the cloud, which means all of your data is saved. So if you're just using Anki, Anki Droid, then it's saved there. If you're using the desktop version as well, you can sync back and forth. So I'm actually going to switch to the desktop version real quick and show you how that works. After you click sync on your Android, then you would go to your desktop version here. Now yours is not going to look the same as mine. All this text here, all these dots down here that are tracking how many flashcards I've done every day and stuff. That's all add-ons. And like I said, go to my channel if you want to learn more about different add-ons and stuff. The key thing here I want you to notice here is if I click sync, then it's going to sync over those flashcards that we just synced. Notice now it's adding the Braille deck and the Anki Droid deck. You can also go into the browser here to see all of your flashcards. Um, it's just there's lots of cool things you can do from the desktop that might make it easier if you're adding cards, but you can sync back and forth of them from them seamlessly. All right, next important thing on here is you may be like, wait, that one flashcard I made earlier, where'd it go? <laughs> it's not gone, don't worry. If you click on the menu here, you'll notice here's your decks, but there's also a card browser. That's actually, there's a, a, a browser here that will let you look through all of your flashcards. So you can see here's all the flashcards from that Braille deck, and you can actually click on them individually if you wanted to edit them or whatever. So anyway, everything is all there. Don't worry. Um, it, it, it's saved. There's also some statistics here if you wanted to uh, look at how well you're doing, you know, how much you're remembering or how many flashcards you've done, all of that. 
I'm gonna go back to the deck browser as well. There's lots of settings. So if we clicked on this deck and I'm gonna, I just long pressed on that. It gives you options to rename the deck, to create sub decks. Um, here's all of the settings, the options here. So if I click options, uh, you'll see there's all sorts of settings here for your new cards and all sorts of stuff. And I go over all of that in my YouTube videos. I have a YouTube video just on the settings. And, and so anyway, go to that to learn a little bit more about that. The other settings, if you go to the menu here, there's a settings option and there's tons of preferences. So there's general settings, there's things when you are reviewing things, the gestures, I highly recommend. I feel like they're really helpful. Lots of things like that. So definitely read through all the settings to get a feel for all of the options that you have and watch my videos if you have more or check out our online mastery course to really get fluent in all of this. The last thing I'm going to show you, if you go to the menu, is the help thing here. There's a lot of really helpful resources. Uh, for one, here's using Anki Droid. If I click that, you'll see there's an Anki Droid manual and an Anki manual, and both are fantastic. That's how I used it. So I'm going to click on the Anki manual just to give you an idea. You see this pulls up, and I can actually go over here, and there's a search bar. So if you wanted to learn about closed note types, you could go there and learn about those. Or like I said, I've got videos on all of this. There's also really cool communities here. Um, there's tons on Reddit, Facebook, all sorts of really cool stuff to help you learn more about this so lots of resources there's no excuse for not being able to understand something reach out to me or anybody and everyone is happy to help you get started with Anki Droid if that wasn't enough for you already I want you to know we have an Instagram a Facebook a Patreon it's all at Anki Med these are all things we use to teach and tutor anything that you need those are all available you can also visit our website AnkiPalace.com we have lots of resources there to help you get started and of course the Anki Mastery course like I was talking about at the beginning of this video so I'm going to go a little more into that so you know if you're interested in that what exactly is included in this there's a it's essentially a course. It's going to take you right from downloading Anki all the way to getting really good at using it. And it, it'll take you a few hours to take the course. There's also an add-on you can install. It's called the Anki Palace Butler add-on. You install that one add-on, it will automatically install 60 others and configure all of your settings and get everything set up for you. So it can save you hours of setup time and give you a lot of really cool functionality. We also teach you how to use a lot of those add-ons. Now here's an example of the lessons included in that course. Um, like I said, it takes you right from getting started all the way to the advanced techniques that we're using right now after having used Anki for years. There's a special discount for all of you Anki Droid users at AnkiPalace.com slash Anki Droid. And I did mention this earlier, but a portion of all of these sales goes towards the development of Anki Droid, which is really cool. So hopefully you enjoyed all of this and you can use Anki Droid to study less and remember more. <laughs>